Hello Internet, Kevin here. We rented a late model Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7 liter four wheel drive and it has the electronic power steering and these are notorious for having messy oil changes. We're gonna show you how to do a really clean one using the oil udders, both the three inch, which we're going to be doing a puncture on the side as our technique and a four inch oil udder, which we actually recommend for this application because it has a bigger area for the splash to go through. Positioning yourself under the frame, go ahead and position the oil udder through the frame and connect it to the oil filter housing. You may need to use two hands to do this and the magnet will hold it in place. Go ahead and move to the front of the vehicle where you can see the filter clearly. Spin the oil filter until it drains. Space is limited, so use a rationing motion to go back and forth to loosen the filter easily and quickly. Be ready for a lot more oil to come out as soon as the filter disconnects. Keep the udder underneath to catch it. You can go ahead and then spin the filter 180 degrees and let it drain. Removing it through the front of the vehicle is easy and put it in your pan. Go ahead and then remove the oil udder and you're good to go. The XL worked quite well. We're gonna show you how to now do it with the three inch oil udder. With the three inch, you're going to want to puncture the oil filter. Now, it, with the electronic power steering, it's going to sit at an angle like this, and you are going to puncture the filter as low as you possibly can. The note that's very important to remember is you want to get the screwdriver as deep into the filter as you possibly can to make sure the column of oil that is in the engine block drains out. Keep in mind, it is the exact same leading up to putting the oil water on, and there's no changes with the wheel and sliding it up there. So. Go ahead and puncture your filter, allowing the oil to drain down the udder. Spin to remove. As you spin it, more oil will flow out the oil udder, allow ample time to allow it to fully drain. Remove your oil udder through the frame, and then you can go ahead and remove the oil filter through the front of the vehicle. A single rag works nicely. Simply go ahead and continue on with the draining process using the oil udder as a drain plug catch, smoothly releasing the oil into your oil pan. The oil plug will not clog the oil udder because it is going to be captured by the magnetic attachment within the oil udder, making for a nice smooth oil change process. As you can tell, both options work quite well. We didn't spill a single drop on the frame or on the floor during this oil change. And you can buy both of these products on Amazon.com or directly at OilUtter.com. We're happy to answer any questions if you have any. And it also works on clean trucks. Dave. The Oil Utter. Move.